reaction to the death of Soleimani has been swift and uh, largely split down party lines this weekend. We are joined in studio by Oregon Senator Ron Wyden tonight. Now, Senator, you and many other Democratic lawmakers were, were quick to criticize this drone strike here. I believe you called it a, a reckless escalation, worried it would put other American lives at risk. The president has said this was uh, a preemptive strike for an imminent threat. Have, have you received any other intelligence from the White House kind of shedding more light on this situation? No. I, I've been home, obviously, having town hall meetings, but this is not some kind of abstract issue that people just talk about in Washington, D.C. For example, at yesterday's town meeting in Polk County in, uh, in Monmouth, a woman came up to me. She was in tears. She was an older woman, and she took uh, her hand, put it in mind, and said, my boy is in Kuwait. Is he going to be safe? What can you do to help my boy? Yeah, there's been a, a lot of uneasiness from many Americans just kind of watching the situation, wondering about next steps as we do have more American troops being ready to be deployed. What steps should the U.S. be taking here going forward? Well, certainly the Trump administration has got to tell the American people in the Congress what its strategy is. And the fact is, the Iranians have a history of being unpredictable. They use militias, they use proxies. And what we've got to do is make sure, and for example, in the case of uh, General Soleimani and his assassination, we don't even know what was done to have Americans and military uh, officials in the region uh, secure. So there are a lot of unanswered questions, and I want viewers to know I feel very strongly that it's time for Congress to stop surrendering its authority under the War Powers Act, and it's got to hold the president accountable, and he can't go to war without consent of the Congress. Do you have plans to push back in Washington uh, and, and yes. try to prevent Yes, I, yeah. I will use my seat on the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence. I can't get into classified dumb matters. But what we know is the last 24 hours really has made the situation more dangerous. And, for example, the president, in effect, tweeted that he was thinking about attacking uh, cultural institutions uh, in uh, Iran. That's almost like what the Taliban did in Afghanistan. We're talking about a significant escalation. Yeah, we will, of course, be watching this very closely this week, that issue taking center stage. But as you head back to Washington, waiting in the wings here is uh, a possible Senate impeachment trial. Uh, what preparations are underway? We're at a bit of a stalemate right now as we wait for the official articles from the House. Uh, what are you prepared to do in the Senate? What I want is to make sure that there is a just outcome and not a political outcome. And the best thing would be to have Mitch McConnell and Chuck Schumer make an agreement on the Senate um, rules. I also feel very strongly about witnesses being there for the Senate trial. And Emily, let me tell you what really swayed me there. If you look at the testimony in the House, particularly from the civil servants, these are not people who get up in the morning and say, gosh, what I really want to do is be on television today. What I really want to do is be in front of a congressional committee and have all my neighbors talking about me. These are people who really spend their time working professionally and carefully behind the scenes. For them to have said those things they said in public in the House under oath is really remarkable. We need witnesses for this trial. We'll be waiting to see how all of this plays out. We appreciate you sharing we'll your thoughts with us. Thanks While so you're much. here, safe travels back to Washington. Thank you. Senator, thank you.